Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can you use the OBS camera for our online meetings for Teams, Zoom, and various other platforms. How can you edit, crop your videos, use green screen, and much, much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. In order to use OBS as a virtual camera, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and install this plugin. I will leave the link in the description box below. So simply go ahead and click download. I have downloaded this already. So let me go ahead and show you how the exe file looks like. So this is your OBS virtual camera exe file. Go ahead, double click on it. The installation process is pretty simple and very user friendly. Once the installation is done, let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. So once the installation process is complete, you can access your virtual camera either from tools, virtual camera, or from the right hand side controls. So let me go ahead and click on tools and virtual camera here. You have an option to auto start, horizontally flip, or keep your aspect ratio. I do not check any of these because I want to go ahead and start it when I want to. And I usually change my orientation of my cameras depending on if it's a webinar or online class or a review session. So I'm going to go ahead and click close. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and set up a scene for our virtual camera. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and I'm going to name it virtual cam and I'm going to click OK. And now I need to go ahead and add my sources. I definitely want a video capture device. So I click on the plus sign and select my video capture device. I'm going to say video capture device too. That's absolutely OK. And I'm going to select my EOS Web Utility Camera. So here is my EOS uh, Web Utility Cam. I use my Canon camera as my webcam. So here I have it. But the purpose of my OBS is to project myself and have my PowerPoint or Microsoft whiteboard in the background. So as you can see, my video is way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and alter it. So I'm going to press Alt. And I'm going to drag myself right there and Alt again. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to move myself just a little bit. And let's see. OK, that's good enough. And the size is too big when I'm teaching an online class. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size further down. There you go. That's that's where I want it. Now, once this is done, I'm going to go ahead, right click on it, filters. And I want to go ahead and change the contrast. So I'm going to click on color correction. I'm going to click OK. And I want to change the saturation just a little bit. That's good enough for me. And just a little bit of contrast. And that's good as well. I'm going to click close. And I also want to flip my camera. So I'm just going to go to transform and flip horizontally. And there you have it. Now, once this is done, there are various things that you can do with this camera. If you like the square shape, you can go ahead and keep that. But if you want to go ahead and change it to a circle or a star or a cloud, you can go ahead and do that as well. In order to do that, let's go ahead and jump into our PowerPoint. So here is my PowerPoint. I'm simply going to go ahead and open it. Blank PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to clean all this up. And I'm going to insert a couple of shapes that I want to project myself as. So I'm going to pick a circle here. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and insert. Let's say I want to insert a star. Pretty big. That's that's OK. That's a star. I like that star as well. And one more quick shape. Let's say I want to put in um, cloud. You never know, depending on what classes you're teaching. And so I'm just simply going to move this around. I'm going to increase the size of the cloud. And I'm going to change all the colors to black. And I'm going to save this as a PNG file. So save. I'm going to say star. I'm saving it in my pictures. Oh, that was a circle. Okay. Save picture as a circle. This is a star. I'm going to right click, save picture as. I'm going to say star. Just want to replace this. 
Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and save the picture as a cloud. Okay, once this is done, now let's go back to OBS and I can show you how you can shape your video. So here is my OBS. I'm going to right click, click on filters, click on the plus sign, and I'm going to click image mask blend. So here is where I am image mask blend and click OK. And it's going to ask me which, which image do you want to browse. So let's just say we want to look at a circle first. Browse. Where did I save it? Pictures. Yep. And I have a circle. Yep. I'm going to click open. And I'm going to change alpha mask to alpha mask channel. And there you have it. I have a nice circle there. But again, I have to alter it. And this is good. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to press Alt. And this. And this. Perfect. So there I have my perfect circle. You might want to make sure your center and move it wherever you want. But just in case you don't want a circle, you want a star, you can go ahead and do that. Simply right click, filters, go to your image mask, change from circle to where is a star? and star and there you have it i'm inside a star but i think i like the circle better or the clouds so let me go ahead and change it to clouds you have various options to play so these are just three images that i decided i'm gonna pick but you can pick whatever you want i think i like the cloud better i'm gonna click close and yeah i like this one this is pretty good just alter it just a little bit and there i have it now once i have my camera i want to go ahead and pick what i want in the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead open up my powerpoint presentation i had section 9.2 so that's my section there i'm simply going to go back to my obs and i'm going to click plus sign and I want to capture the window. It's totally up to you what you want to capture. Do you want to capture the whole display or you want to capture the window? I highly recommend capturing the window. I sometimes use PowerPoint. I sometimes use Microsoft Word. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and capture the window here. Window capture two. And it's going to ask me, what do you want to capture? I'm going to scroll down and pick my 9.2.1 PowerPoint presentation. And there I have it. Now, as you can see, this entirely covers up my face. So all you have to do is hold on to your window capture, drag it all the way down, and there you have it. So I'm right above my PowerPoint now. Any alteration that I do to my PowerPoint will be altered in here as well. So if I go ahead and increase my PowerPoint, or zoom in, I should say, and there you go. And that's exactly what I will have. So this is the way I will be teaching in my class. So set up however you want. You can have a window in the background. You can have a whole display in the background. You can have multiple windows. Now let's just say you want to display multiple windows at one particular time. You can go ahead and do that as well. What I want to show you is how can you shift from one window to the other using OBS. I'm simply going to click plus sign. I'm going to add another window capture device. I'm going to say window capture three and I'm going to pick my Chrome browser here that has the OBS in the background. There I have it. I'm going to scroll it all the way down. And now with one click of a button, close the eye, open the eye, I can actually go ahead and change from one window to the other. But if I want both of them at one particular time, I can simply use my alt. And I think I picked the wrong window. I'm going to go ahead and choose Alt here. There I have it. There you go. And I'm going to move this down. And this is another window here. So you can have multiple windows projected in your OBS, depending on what you're teaching and what your requirements are. So I'm going to go ahead and close the window capture three. And I'm going to open up my PowerPoint. Keep in mind, you can also use your Microsoft Word. Let me go ahead and open up my Microsoft whiteboard here. To do that, you simply add your plus sign, window capture, window capture four. You want to name it whiteboard. You can just in case if you want to alter between your windows and you know which one you're altering. So Microsoft white, I'm just going to say whiteboard and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and select my whiteboard. 
And as you can see, my whiteboard is completely covering this up. I'm going to go ahead and alter, alt. I'm going to alt and yep. And I'm going to move this to the side further down. So I have my PowerPoint, I have my Microsoft Word on one side. You can have multiple windows opened up. And as you can see, I can move my window, click on my video capture device. If I want my face all the way up here on Microsoft Whiteboard, all I have to do is pull the whiteboard down. And there I have my face. So make sure your video is always on the top. So that way, whatever windows you're adding, they are underneath your video. So once this is all done, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and start your virtual camera. You can do that either by going to tools and virtual camera and say start, or you can simply start it from your right hand side. I'm going to use my right hand control tools. I'm going to say start virtual camera and you have to start your virtual camera first and then go back into your teams or your zoom and then pick that as your camera. So once that's done, I'm going into my Microsoft Teams. I'm going to initiate a meeting. So once I initiate the meeting, I'm going to go ahead and set up my camera and speakers. I'm going to turn off my mic. But in my cameras, you see I have an option to pick the OBS virtual camera. I have an option to pick EOS. I'm going to go ahead and pick OBS virtual camera. And I'm going to turn on my camera now. And I'm going to say join. So there I am in my meetings because the way Microsoft is set up, your entire picture will be flipped. But keep in mind, you will not be looking into your Microsoft Teams to do your lectures. I'm going to go ahead, move this window all the way here. I'm going to close down my Teams. And this is the window that I will be using. And this is the window that I'll be seeing to go ahead and record or deliver my lectures. Just to show you that even though your image is flipped in here, it will be perfect when the viewers are viewing from the other side. That's just the way Microsoft is set up, and I don't know why. So here I am in Microsoft Whiteboard. I'm going to write something here. It's going to draw a circle, right? And all that will automatically be populated on your virtual camera, as you can see. And I'm going to show that to you. And here I am in my Microsoft PowerPoint. You can start a slideshow. And the slideshow will be shown perfectly in your OBS as well. And if I want to move my face away from there, I can do that as well. There I have it. So the options are multiple, and you have um, more freedom to use different windows and move yourself around just like how you move yourself around in a class so again i'm going to go back from here all the way up to here what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to pause for a second go back to green screen and show you another way to present yourself using green screen so here i have a green screen on the back i simply used a green bed sheet and covered up my back what i'm going to do is i'm going to my video capture device and I'm going to remove the image mask. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And as you can see, now I have just a little bit in the back. And I'm going to add my chroma key to this. There you go. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change some capacity, contrast, and the similarity. I'm going to click Close. And I'm going to slightly alter. And that's good enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place myself right here so students can feel like I am teaching them from there. So that's another way to present. That's another way to teach. But when you're doing this, make sure you are always aware of where your video is. I'm going to go ahead and click Escape. This is where my PowerPoint is. So there you have it. You can place yourself here and you can teach your course. You can move all the way up and then teach your course. And again, you will be looking at yourself using another window. This works perfect when you have uh, two screens because with one screen, it's kind of hard to record yourself and look at your team's uh, meeting. So here I am in the team's meeting. I've When I'm looking at it, I'm all the way down. So I'm going to go up a little bit. I'm good here. But when I'm teaching, I want to move this side so that 
you know, students can look at me. And if I want to add another video capture device, let's just say I want to add this one. I'm going to click on this. There you go. So here I am. Again, if you want to move around, you can move around wherever you want. So this just gives you a complete control of how you want to present to your students. I keep changing the way I present just so that I can create that curiosity and enthusiasm in my students. Sometimes I like to put a heart there. Sometimes I like to put a cloud, a star, a square. It just depends on my mood that day. So here I am in my Zoom video. All I have to do is click on video settings. Scroll all the way down until I get my OBS virtual camera and make sure you uncheck mirror your video and turn your video on. And there I have it. I can move myself to wherever I want. If I want to present uh, my PowerPoint presentations, then all I have to do is turn this off. And there I have my PowerPoint presentation. And I think if I'm obstructing some important information, I'm going to move myself up, move myself down, and I'm going to change according to what I am teaching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need this virtual camera feature and just might not know how. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.